parents with nanny cams, what have you caught your babysitter doing? Not a nanny cam because this happened in the 90s and I don't think we had them in Scotland then but my mom came home early one day because she had become suspicious of our nanny as my sister and I never slept after a day with her. She found both my sister and I in bed in the middle of the day. Turned out my nanny had been dozing us up with child medicine to make us sleep all day so she could sit and do nothing. Next comment. Wish I had a nanny cam. My stepsister was watching my brother with disabilities for me. She would dump out the contents of his capsules meds and use them later. Didn't find out about it till he stared having seizures constantly and ended up in the hospital for the second time. Next comment. This was my equivalent of pre-K. All the kids were regressing in their movement ability and getting really fat so they set up spy equipment. Turns out one carer was doubling every baby's food portions and forcefully overfeeding them. Next comment. This isn't a bad one. My parents caught the babysitter carrying our 60 pound golden retriever like he was a baby. Next comment. I've been a pretty regular weekend nanny for an amazing family for four years now. They've cycled through a couple different weekday nannies since I've been with them. There is only one monitor and it's in the little dude's room. Once the mom showed me on the camera why they let one go. Little dude said mommy said I don't have to do that. And the nanny snapped back well it doesn't matter, mommy is a bitch. And then dragged the kid out of the room by his shirt. Super fired. Next comment. Next comment. Well a case which happened near where I live, woman used to work, husband out of country had a two-year-old kid. They hired a nanny to look after him during daytime. Day by day kid started looking malnourished. So she set up a spy cam. Apparently the lady used to bring her kid and feed him all the food left for the kid she was supposed to babysit. Then she would feed the kid cheap biscuits. She was promptly handed over to police. Next comment. A friend caught his nanny hitting their kid for interrupting that day's binge of the TV show Friends. Next comment. A little late to the party but here goes. My mom suspected our maid of stealing the silverware. And she's just fucking nosy. Anyway, the maid was indeed stealing the silverware. I think that ended up being overshadowed by my dad fucking her, though. Next comment. My story isn't that interesting but I have a camera to check in on my rabbit when I'm not there. The biggest surprises were mostly just how almost nobody followed my pet sitting instructions. The one exception, ironically, was my brother who claimed to hate the rabbit and always wanted to get rid of it. I got an alert one day that my camera had detected movement while my bro was there taking care of him and I decided to take a peek. I opened the app connected to the camera and saw my bro walk into my room, lay on the floor, and start playing with my rabbit. It just warmed my heart. Next comment. We have a nanny cam and we caught our nanny. Dancing with our baby, making him laugh and giving him kisses. She's the best and the cameras gave us the peace of mind to know she really treats him like her own. Next comment. My family bought one to see our dogs when we leave on vacation twice a year, it's one where they can hear us and we thought it'd be great, we hardly used it. We also asked our maid to dogsit for us while we were out. Once when we looked at the feed we saw the dogsitter there a solid 30 minutes early just petting the dogs and playing with them. She's since retired from working, but she was the sweetest old lady and we love her. Another time my dad left a wad of cash on top of the washing machine, about $600, and she put a rubber band around it with a note saying he misplaced it. Next comment. I travel the US for work, and am fortunate enough to be able to bring my two beagles with me. They have never been away from my side longer than the time I've been at work, they are 10 and 13. I have a camera that I use to check in on them sometimes mostly because my larger beagle is quite the ingenious guy. Opening doors, scooting chairs over places so he can jump up onto the counters, etc etc. Last year I was in Oregon and had to go home to Michigan for an emergency. 
I do not fly with them, I will only drive. So I was in a pickle and reluctantly hired someone off of Rover that was willing to come stay over at my hotel room for three days. She was great, kept up on texting me about the dogs, said things like tossing them a ball right now. So I would check in via the cam when I thought it was appropriate. This woman was amazing. Not only was she playing with them enough to make them exhausted, she was even teaching them new tricks, making them use their brains to solve puzzles, and even got my 42-pound beagle to get up on her back so she could do push-ups, she was an avid crossfitter. I was extremely happy. Next comment. We once caught the nanny putting charcoal to feed them as a snack. This woman claimed that she thought it was a snack. It was in a charcoal box. My brothers were four. Next comment. I was the kiddo. My mom often tells the story of how she watched me give a big ol' hug to my babysitter who just broke down out of nowhere after serving me lunch. Turns out her dad had died a month back and it just wasn't a good day for her. I still remember you, miss. Yancy. Next comment. The couple I sat for had a nanny cam in their living room, the kind that went in bears. They got me on video giving their two yo the him lick after he tried to eat a rock. Next comment. Chasing my cats around with a broom, hitting them. She's since been fired. Next comment. Not a parent. Caught my little sister's babysitter catching a good hour long nap at 2 p.m. while my one year old sister was up having the time of her life destroying my PlayStation. Next comment. I got a nanny cam to keep an eye out for my elderly grandfather, especially when the homemaids were there. My grandfather started asking for lots of cash and couldn't remember what was happening to it, a brooch that my aunt was supposed to get disappeared, and then I heard reports of my grandfather being inappropriate with the sum of the home health aides. He was busted skirling away his medication that he was supposed to be taking in his chair, giving money to an aide and sexually harassing another aide. Next comment. Not mine, but my friends. We watched her daughter's nanny playing with her, singing to her and just being so lovely. She was so good, that all the others mums wanted to hire her. Next comment. My grandpa was staying with my parents but they figured it best to hire the regular sitter to watch my younger siblings overnight since they didn't think my grandpa was up to the task and they were attending a wedding a couple hours away and made plans to spend the night in a hotel nearby. They had set up a nanny cam in a couple room, my siblings bedroom, the master bedroom, living room and kitchen. All motion activated. They normally wouldn't bother looking through the footage if everything seemed fine upon returning home and their master bedroom cam had never been triggered before. When they returned they noticed that the cam in the master bedroom had been triggered so they decide to take a look, cut to footage of my grandpa and the sitter both naked aggressively making out from the entrance of the room staggering while intertwined towards the bed and then about 20 minutes of banging on my parents bed. The sitter was about 20 years old and my grandpa was around 70 at the time. My dad called me immediately after he saw the footage laughing his ass off, and I could hear my mom crying in the background completely mortified from what she had just witnessed and shouting at my dad to throw out the sheets and kick out grandpa. My mom called the sitter to confront her and she just apologized and said there was connection or some shit to that matter, when she asked my grandpa what he was thinking he just said at my age you must seize every opportunity. I wish there was audio for the build up, I lay awake at night sometimes just wondering what kind of game my grandpa was talking to get in that sitter's pants. Next comment. I pay my neighbor to feed the stray cats in my garden when I'm away for days at a time, and the camera caught my neighbor trying to come in by pole, bamboo, vaulting one time. He nailed it, amazingly. Next comment. My mom put a nanny cam on my sister's bedroom. The only disturbing thing my mom allegedly saw was the babysitter crying while holding my sister. Turns out the babysitter just had a miscarriage the day before. Next comment. Next comment. We didn't have a nanny cam, but my mom set up the camcorder when she suspected our babysitter was stealing. And then caught the babysitter stealing. 
she returned most of the stuff when my mom threatened to report her to the police. I think she should still have reported her anyway. Now she probably just went on stealing at other people's places. Next comment. My aunt has a nanny cam and found my older cousin's babysitter playing blackjack with him. Next comment. I'm not a parent rather the child and I had this nanny, or Yara as we would call it. It became useless because she soon found out and kept unplugging the camera. It turns out she was slowly stealing money from my family. We fired her. Next comment. This isn't he something that I caught a babysitter doing but I remember that I once saw on TV the case of some parents that went with her baby to the doctor because she cried a lot for apparently no reason. The doctor told them that she looked really stressed and asked them if they were doing something that could make her act like that. They didn't he. Then the doctor and the parents noticed some really tiny dots in the girl's belly and they had no idea where they came from. The babysitter told them that she had no idea but they didn't he believe her and secretly put cameras to spy what she was doing. Turns out that she was crazy. She was stabbing the baby with a needle from time to time and doing things like shaking her cradle incredibly hard to torment her. Next comment. When I was around 12 years old, my parents caught my babysitter on camera stealing my NES games and shoving them into her pants and shirt. They confronted her about it and she kept denying it until Ninja Gaiden fell out of her pant leg. My mom took her into a room and made take out all the games she stole. She literally had games shoved under the strap of her bra on her back so that she could sneak them out of the house, and others were put inside the waistband of her underwear. She must have really thought about this for a while. Anyway, we got the games back and she was sent home without pay. Next comment. I have caught her making pillow forts that are heavily resistant to the monsters that may or may not come out during heavy thunderstorms with my kiddo. 20 minutes after bedtime. Needless to she was dealt with appropriately. Next comment. She stole a single puzzle piece of what we were trying to solve. Saw her put it in her pocket. Final straw was one of our fucking potted plants. Next comment. I was the child and there weren't any nanny cams but my parents had left a small bucket of toys and things to keep me busy and they hired a babysitter to watch me while they both had to take over time at work and knew they would be gone most of the day. The babysitter moved that bucket of toys to another room, put me in a crib and proceeded to go off and read or something and left me there for hours with nothing to do, only coming back to check on me or feed me. My parents came back to me just sadly sitting in my crib. Next comment. Friends of ours don't have kids but have dogs. They were going out of town and told the dog sitter about all of the cameras including the one that is outside but sometimes picks up reflections and will asterisk actively asterisk notify them of motion. Next comment. Not a nanny cam, but a vid. My sill sat the camera down thinking she turned it off. I have over an hour of her teasing my toddler, in a mean way, with candy and popsicles. She started telling him that he would get some, then held it just out of reach. She then ate it in front of him making mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
but in the end you can't fight crazy, and sometimes life is just not fair. The only thing I have done to make things better is ignore her. She eventually just starts attacking someone else, like an annoying yipping dog, that just needs to annoy. As for my brother, I hope time will help to fix things. I also think that he might just be more like her than I think, birds of a feather fly together. Next comment. I dog sit for some neighbors, one of which told me she has a camera in the living room forward slash dining room for her dogs. You know those ones that dispense treats. Anyways I thought it was a strange essential oil diffuser until she told me what it was. I was being paid to play with them for an hour but she found out that I was actually staying for two or three hours. When she asked me about it I think I said something like I'd want someone to do the same for my dog. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed.